Paramount Pictures? Yeah, I know. Paramount Pictures. He keeps Sometimes. throwing that word in interviews, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, who wants to do a sequel? <laughs> Wait a minute. Nobody knows. Paramount, to my understanding of the character. <laughs> so knowing that that part you. of the I'm job kidding. is over, exactly. Kidding, buddy. There buddy. is a lot of love here, and that's what I love. You guys get to hang out in a room together all day. For hours. He's so thrilled by the prospect of it, doing it all again tomorrow. Have you, sort of built, have you built a little bit of that? I heard you guys knew each other before from the same gym. We, right? Yeah, we yeah, did. we had a, from the Grammy. We had a, we shared a personal trainer. We'd work out in the kitchen. And a tanner. So LA. <laughs> I have a little guy that just and comes over. And a chakra over. aligner. <laughs> Good. We have the same chakra aligner. Gotta make sure those are aligned. Uh, and pedi true, pedicurist. Um, I've never had a pedicure in my life. You should. It's fun. No. Really? They yeah, massage your feet, dude. I've had a foot massage. Just never had a pedicure. Oh, and the chair massages the rest of you while they do that. And it's a pedicure? Lovely. It's lovely, absolutely. It's really, it's quiet. It's nice. So there is love here. Of course. The, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, Whoa. when he's not putting me down. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. He's been putting me down today. What Whoa. Can I tell you? We're going to have to talk about Is there love for someone this. else more than him? Say it now. I mean, if No, I have kind of... Uh, equal love. We equal, all have equal we, love. We have equal love. Yeah. We had a lot of fun... Going, we've been around. We've been traveling promoting this for. And the and the John Cho, Carl Urban, Chris yeah. Pine, Zach Quinto. I thought you were giving me this. No, no, I was That's just counting people on my on you my can. on my fingers. But the four of us ended up, especially in Paris. We had a pretty adventuresome afternoon walking around and we hanging did. out. It was fun. It was we had fun. a good good time on this trip. Are you ready to live long and prosper with this? Are you ready to live long and prosper? I, I she's, am. She's dying oh, yeah. for it. Look at it. She's. <laughs> Kirk's got the reputation as the ladies' man, but we got to see the sexier side of Mr. Spock in this one. Were you a little jealous that he got a little? Uh, <laughs> yes. He remains uh, jealous. He's barely speaking to me when we don't have to. When the cameras are on. Really, it's been trying tough. Trying to work it out in therapy. It's been tough going. It's just spork not therapy. Spork therapy. It's uh, not. Yeah, I was a little bit. I thought, you know, my guy being the, being the hero, I would get the girl and get to beat people up. And, of course, he gets to beat me up. And Did you ever stop to think that means that you're not, not the, hero, the hero? But I beat people up and get the girl. Mm. I think we need to have a talk about the definition of hero. we should talk about your passive aggressiveness. All right. about I that think too. you need to remember all of this stuff when you do your contract negotiations for the next <laughs> one. <laughs> Zachary, stop it. <laughs> I'm not separating you from the actor from your role in Hero as a particularly creepy person to, to encounter in the street anyway, I would take. Uh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Brain eater. <laughs> He's a brain eater. Chris, you've gone from uh, you've gone from show. it was established in season three. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> commitment I had to make, and obviously one I was willing to, but uh, it was not easy, and it was painful, and it was tedious, and it had to be kept up all, every day. And it was six exactly. months, you know. <laughs> Did you get some chills, you know, when you sat on that captain's chair? It's it's surprising. Did you get chills when you toppled over in the chair? Oh, oh, had to bring it up. <laughs> The chair is, in fact, not bolted to the ground. So this is just to explain... He uh, keeps saying that like it's true. Zach's <laughs> disparaging <laughs> comment, exactly. which we'll get to later and fight about, and most likely I'll win. But um, it's not bolted to the ground, so yes, I did topple once or twice getting into the chair. Zach. With enthusiasm. Uh -huh. And joy. And laughter. A little, little self-deprecating <laughs> laughter afterwards, because I can laugh at myself. Yeah, you guys probably bring some fun okay. memories, right, from it's this okay. movie. and. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely take the beaming technology that, uh, that you know, good old Scotty, trans warp beaming. Although we don't really need the warp beaming because we're not really warping. Into it. What? I can't believe I'm really. I don't know what that meant. To be quite honest with you. Conversation. Trans warp um, beam. What? Beaming. Teleport. Can we teleport? Somewhere? I take my spacesuit. Just kind of wear that to bed. Because it breathes a loop. It's really massage my, you know, massage my arm, isn't it? Because it's just that. Such <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Technology-wise, uh, tell. I like the teleporting yeah, thing. I think on. that's pretty cool. Go with me on this. I, mean, I thought you were talking about trans warp beaming. I don't know. Teleporting. It's that's the right. same. Te trans warp beaming trans is when warp? you're moving from one <laughs> be warp beaming on what? <laughs> warp beaming object to what? To another exactly. one. <laughs> to another one. We are traveling Do at warp tell. speed. <laughs> How did you Dr. Zachary Quinto. <laughs> so that we created uh, a verb. Uh, in, in Chris's honor, and so anytime anybody spilled any food on their costume, we say that they pined themselves. Ah, oh, okay. Um, Chris just loves to eat, and enjoy uh, food. Food just falls from his mouth directly onto his I torso. Think. So we need to get you a bib for the next one, or something. Yeah, I, I think a bib think my would probably be so ashamed of me. <laughs> she brought me up so well, and it just kind of all fell fell by the the uh, wayside. Yeah, apparently not at the dinner table. No elbows on the dinner table. 
Elbows Maybe that's the problem. You, 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 have the, you don't have the support of your elbows to like prevent the food from falling down. What if you just had attachments that you know? You guys could fuck. Uh, like I said in the intro, the most infamous of of duos uh, on TV. How do you how do you step into that role? How do you develop that 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 chemistry that uh, Leonard Nimoy and the Shatner had? The Shat. The Shat. Um, you know, Chris and I were lucky to know each other before there was got the roles in this film, so um, we carried with us a certain sense of um, comfort from the <coughs> scene. Oh me. my Sorry, god. Sometimes. I literally uh, nose tickles did that. I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> right in the middle, like right on my line. You know, Germs, yeah, it was a turn against it. Was yeah. Yeah. Nice scene. I was really <laughs> trying to. <clears throat> anyway, so that was really helpful, and, and actually that existed with not just us, but with I think a lot of the crew. I mean, I knew John Cho before, I knew Zoe yeah. before. Um, there was a sense of camaraderie that came with uh, our connections, and uh, it was nice. It was really easy, because the worst thing ever is if you have to manufacture that sense. Since it's impossible to do, the minute it becomes effort, then so it's kind of effortless. Except he smells. Of what? Wow. What does he smell of? Of charisma. Of power. <laughs> I smell it. I'm detecting it. Uh, I think most, uh, the most common question has to be uh, around the tightness of your costumes. Thanks, Zach. You're welcome, Chris. Uh, no, I would say the most common question is, um, um, were you fans of Star Trek? Yeah, probably that too. And also the tightness of their costumes. Yeah, but really more the other one. Most people are really interested in your wetsuits. No, it is not like that in real life. Chris and I uh, really see things pretty similarly both in our lives and in our work and, uh, and I think relate to each other really easily and support each other and are good friends. And uh, we're, we're different people, but uh, I, I really do feel like, as Kirk and Spock are, in many ways... Two halves of the... Same whole or two sides of the same coin. Two halves of the same pair. <laughs> God. It's okay. It's okay. Was, it? I, th I thought that was a good analogy. I thought okay. That, thought good. That cool. I love the uh, the initial, you know, tension, headbutting that, that Spock and Kirk have. You know, how did you guys kind of develop that? Did you do, like, thumb wars, like, staring contests? Did you just kind of rustle around and, and get that, that, that testosterone going? Those were the three. Yeah. Those three, thumb exactly. Wars. Thumb wars. Uh, uh, staring arm wrestling. <laughs> God, Ted. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> you reign supreme. Eem, 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 eem. Um, that reminds you, it reminds me of, it reminds, I've ever seen in my entire life. It reminds life. me of uh, Will Ferrell. Did you ever see him do goulet when he has a staring contest with a goat? <laughs> yeah. You, you win. win. You, you always, always do. do. <laughs> yes. My man. I love it. <laughs> Chris, you recently mentioned you're single. You're here in Australia. And what do you think um, of the Aussie girl? I, I mean, Good heavens. Good heavens. I'm good moving, heavens I'm literally good. moving to Sydney in about, I'm going to talk to Hemsworth about <laughs> place on the beach and it's over. There you go. There you go. Girls, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pine on the beach. Just think about that. Um, <laughs> I'm not invited. What's going on? Oh, and Zach. <laughs> Zach, you do. Boys, you can come too. <laughs> this guy is uh, Chris Pine to my left. Hello? is a phenomenal actor and a great guy. And to work with him and watch him work was... Uh, Keep really, on talking. really fun. I like this. And, this uh, is inspiring. Good. Ooh, made yeah. me it made me a better person wow. and a better actor. <laughs> and uh, it's the truth, love or death. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, um, what about you, Chris? You know, really. Uh, yeah, um, what about you, Chris? You know, really. Uh, the beginning of the process, you know, going into the audition and knowing that this was Star Trek and knowing that this was a big budget uh, movie. There's a lot of clearly a lot of kind of inherent pressure in that. And it's so nice walking into a, an audition room and meeting JJ and being, uh, you know, confronted with that uh, that joyful person that he is, and then meeting someone like Zach, who's such a wonderful guy. That, uh, you know, clearly when you have to manufacture kind of chemistry, it's just kind of a sheer pain. But it wasn't the case here, and I, you know, thank God for I that. I gave him phenomenal person, phenomenal actor, and that I was yeah. inspired by. He gave me a wonderful guy. You know, it's cool. I'm all about brevity, dude. I'll take what I I'm get. I'm all about brevity, really but I showed point. it with my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Los ojos. And where, where are you fans of the TV series? 